What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. This is your big man, Decipher, together with my good friend Matthews Isaac as your official commentator for Champions E Football. And this tournament is sanctioned by AESF ASEAN Electronic Sports Fo uh, Federation. Matt, we just finished what was considered a very, very go fiesta game just now, Matt. Yeah, it was very exciting. It was very amazing, actually, in that match. And I feel of this. Uh, it was a well-deserved win for John Bury FC because they were very, very dominant. But here we are. The battle that everyone is waiting for on the comment box. The battle of the Tigers, we can say. And I guess we are getting near to that. Yep, the battle of the Tigers between Malaysia's Southern Tigers and Indonesia's Persib Bandung FC Maung Bandung or Tigers of Bandung. Can we see who will be uh, eliminated and who will advance into the next stage? Uh, so I believe uh, Matt, uh, the players for JDT, uh, which will be played, is Mohamedou Sumareh, our midfielder number 13. While Beckham Putra will be playing for Persib Bandung, a midfielder number 7, if memory serves me correctly, Matt. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be interesting because I want to see how actual footballers are going to cope in the uh, virtual pitch. Of course, maybe some of them has the opportunity to uh, play games in their homes and stuff. But office, right now we're in a competitive mode and I guess only the best one makes through. Yep, only the best will go through. So I need your help. Those young watching, those who are watching, I need your help. For JDT fans... Can you give me some love in the comment? Give me some love, you know, love in the comment. But if you are the fan from Perse Bandung FC, Maung Bandung, can you give some like in the comment? Yes. Can you give some like? Ah, uh, who will go forward into the next round? So, Matt, this is the star match. Uh, wait, I believe the players are getting ready. Yep, the players are getting ready because we are working via satellite. Ah, so I believe when everything is ready, I think we can go, right, Matt? Yeah, if everything is perfectly ready, we can go straight into the actions between Mamadou Sumari and also Beckham Putra. What a name! I mean, this is going to be very interesting to see. Abi is a player from JDT, and on the other side, we see uh, Perse Bandung from uh, Indonesia, and this is this is the moment to see what is going to happen between actual footballers trying to play their game in a virtual set of match yeah yep i totally agree and also just to remind the format is also best of three but there is no lower bracket whatever if you lose the set it's game over and the end of the line for one of this tiger is it going to be the southern tigers or the tigers of bandung will advance into the next stage man Oh, uh, I mean, if you're asking me that question, I don't really know how to answer that, Decipher. But, uh, I mean, maybe we would put this question to the viewers. Who do you guys think that is going to go through? Either it's going to be Mamadou Sumare or it's going to be Beckham Putra. And if you are fans of them, show us your support as what Decipher early on said. The likes and the uh, love emojis. So, that shows what is going to happen today, Afis. We are here and it's game on for them. Yes, and also uh, FYI to most of our friends, uh, JDT is a licensed team, so you will be seeing the real name of the players. As you can see, we see uh, we see uh, Farizal Marlias, uh, we see Eskunalan, we see Natsu Insa, Lever Corbin Ong, uh, Shafiq Ahmad. But I'm wondering where is Mohamedou Sumare in this game? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, playing, he's, he's controlling his teammates today yeah <laughs> yes is he going to control his own self ah uh, that is going to be very very interesting indeed so the players are getting ready guys just uh be be uh, patient for a moment uh, i'm just getting word that uh the players are now uh getting ready with all of the equipment uh with all of the controller once everything is ready uh because once everything is ready, we can go. So, Matt, what info do we have be be between these two teams? Ah, I mean, uh, of course, I face JDT, one of the most dominant uh, football clubs in Malaysian uh, league so far. And on the other side, Persim Bandung, we know they have been there. They have won many, many titles, of course. 
and they have a very strong rivalry with the uh, other team that we basically know. And I guess Afis, um, it's going to be very interesting to watch what is going to happen because one thing is they are carrying the club name. Second thing, they are trying to put themselves into the game as uh, they, I mean, the, the uh, level of understanding of football in, into a virtual pitch, actually. Yeah, and also just to add a little bit more, Matt, did you know that Persib Bandung back then in 2015 was mentioned as the most richest club in the Southeast yep. Asian region? If we calculate inflation numbers, they are like almost 800 million to today's money. Ah, oh. so there you see. Yep. So, Muhammad Usumareh, JDT, will be attacking from left to right in the official kit of Johor Darul Tazim, while Beckham Putra will be attacking from right to left in the yellow kit for Team Persik uh, Bandung, man. Yeah, I guess this is going to be the moment, and let's see what is uh, Muhammad Usumareh or Beckham Putra is up to. As we see right now, the ball is with the likes of uh, Beckham Putra, but Dan, he could not get through there. And here is Harun, sends the ball all the way towards the top again. And here comes JDT on the attack. Nazmi fights Manso, but he loses the ball. And this time, Beckham Putra in control. It looks like a very tight match, even though it's just the start of the match of his. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, the, the only player that I want to see is where is Sumar in the game? Where is <laughs> Muhammad Sumareh in the game? I really want to see what is going on with that player. But Arif Zakwan, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Zakwan was able to intercept. Thus, Shafiq Ahmad, another Malaysia player. Uh, oh, a mistake by Shafiq Ahmad. Uh, loses the ball to the opponent. Uh, thus, Beckham Putra is looking for option for a true ball. However, as Kurnalan made a mistake, a chance for Persia. Oh, oh, why are you doing that? It's a penalty. Muhammad Sumareh with a very dangerous tackle. Oh, Eskunalan saying no, ref. That should not be a penalty. Come on, ref. That was a dive. However, the replay shows that the defender from team, uh, team JDT had, had a hard tackle on giving the penalty. Can uh, Izam Tarmizi Roslan pushes the ball away. Central, he flies to the other side. 1-0. Persib Bandung FC, man. Yeah, it's a very, very cheap uh, tackle to give away in that kind of position. I'm not sure what Momodu Subare was basically thinking there, Fiz. But then we see time and time again, this kind of things really happen. And uh, I guess it is a well-deserved penalty for Beckham Putra. So I guess Persib Bandung is ahead. The Tigers of Bandung are right now on the front. Yep, so the Tigers of Bandung is uh, currently up front. Corbin Ong, Saharis Harun, Nazmi Faiz going forward to Shafiq Ahmad. However, Shafiq Ahmad uh, <laughs> made a silly mistake right there, uh, thus uh, giving the ball away very cheaply. However, Eskunalan was able to pick up the loose ball, sends it forward to Shafiq Ahmad. Shafiq Ahmad is a bit dreaming. He did not move according to plan, Matt. Yeah, he was not doing much there. And here is Eskunalan again towards Adib Zainuddin. And here is Harun again. Tries to send the ball forward, trying to find Gonzalo Cabrera. But he's just not receiving the, receiving the ball so far, please. And here is Shafiq Ahmad. Could not contain the ball. And this time we see Beckham Putra is on the attack, maybe to add another goal so far. But then Adib Zainuddin is just there. But that panicky pass is not going to receive towards the legs of the goalkeeper. And that's going to be a corner for. Uh, uh, yeah, for back and put rather. Yep. So oh, instantly to Nazmi Faiz, Muhammad Sumareh sends the ball forward. I believe that is going to be a Diogo. However, the first touch wasn't that clean. A Diogo as the lone striker for JDT. Corbin Ong, laser of quick to Haris Harun, if I'm not mistaken. Diogo looking for options, looking for forward. Oh, chance for Shafi Ahmad. Shafi Ahmad was a little bit immobile. He was a little bit bad in his reaction time, thus loses the ball in the final third, man. Yeah, maybe I. Uh, this time we see Beckham Butra is on the attack. Maybe we might see another goal, but then it was well defended. And here comes Mamadou Sumare, sends the ball up front, trying to find Shafiq Ahmad. Is this the moment for JDT? Here comes Shafiq Ahmad. He's on all the way, oh! but that is not going through. 
And that hits the crossbar out of nowhere. He had a clear chance. Look at that. Defender gave up. He's so open, yet lots of space. Goes for the shot. And I guess Sumare basically forgot how to shoot. Well, I mean, that was a good effort. That was a good effort by Mohamedou Sumare. Uh, however, Shafi Ahmad was a little bit too powerful in his shot. Thus, he went sky high and also assisted by the crossbar. And we see how Beckham Putra coming in numbers with conviction. But Mauricio was able to clear the ball forward. I believe that is going to be a foul? By who? Uh, that's going to be a foul there. Oh. He got pushed away, but then he's going to go in a favor for JDT. Yep, mm. it's going to be going for JDT there. Yeah, it's going to be for JDT. Half an hour has gone, man. It's still 1-0 going in favor of uh, Team Persib Bandung FC. Uh, Bandung Tigers right now have the advantage on the Southern Tigers from JDT, man. Oh, yeah. that's a hard tackle. Yeah, there's going to be another tackle and the referee is giving him maybe a warning there towards the player and the player says, you know, I can argue all day, but then the referee says, you can do that in a quarter somewhere, but not on the field, not in my game, not in my pitch. And I guess it is still 1-0 going in the favour for Bakan Putra of Persip Bandung so far. So I guess the ball goes out for a uh, throw-in there. Yeah, it's going to be a throw-in. It's a little bit of information there. Uh, we see Bakan Putra back in 2018 season. He was the top scorer with nine goals, although he was basically performing as a midfielder, this Saifa. Yep, a midfielder, correct. So that means this guy has a very, very uh, keen eye for the goal, even though he's in a midfielder position. Uh, as you all know, midfielders are supposed to be the guy assist, but uh -uh, not this guy. He is a goal machine, but a mistake in the penalty area. Oh, it's going to be JDT who has to clear the ball, but still it's going to be with Beckham Putra. With a long, long shot. Hits. Ah, uh, hits the keeper, man. Yeah, Shafiq Aman again, trying to utilize the attack, but then it's not going to go through. And this time we see Persik Bandung coming again. It's Beckham Putra. Will we see something special from him? But then, Mamadou Sumare knows what he's doing and that is a brilliant brilliant uh defensive display by the uh, 26 years old player and this time we see Corbin ong trying to lay the pass off but it's not going to go through as we are approaching the uh stoppage time in another two minutes excluding the uh, uh extra time maybe one last chance for back and putra but that ball is going to go off the line that is Ifa. yep it's going to be off the line a corner kick for back and putra can he sends it into a beautiful header and a follow up, but it was not shot clean. The half volley hits his own teammate. Powerful header, but what was his striker partner doing? Helping uh, JDT to clear the ball. It goes up, and I believe referee, as mentioned by your good self, Matt, is going to be one minute of extra time. Uh, Sumare seems in a lot of trouble in my point of view. Yeah, maybe this could be it for Shafiq Ahmad, but then the touch is too much. And that is the end of the uh, first half, actually. So I believe uh, that's a very silly way to give a penalty, especially in that position. I'm not sure what uh, Sumare was basically thinking. Maybe he thought that is not going to be uh, a penalty call. But then we saw Hafiz, he got tangled on and Beckham Putra took it absolutely well. So it's 1-0. Let's see what's going to happen in the second half. Yes, come on, my, my viewers in Facebook. Who do you support? Put your flag. If you are from Persib Bando FC, put the national flag of Indonesia. For JDT, put the Jalor Gamilang. As we can see right now, Adam Norazlin closes the gap. Possibly it's open. Eskonalan, a shot directly to the keeper, but still the ball is in play. And the follow-up is so beautiful. Persib Bando FC puts another one to the back of the net. It seems like Beckham Putra is really, really on fire today, man. Yeah, the second half has been very promising for Beckham Putra. And I guess Mamadou Sumare yet again of his. Even in the first match, he conceded the goal in a very early stage. And again, in the second half, he is conceding the goal in a very early, early moment. And that shows maybe the defensive was not up to par. But so far, we see Persib Bandung 
on top of his game. Beckham Putra with 2 0. Yep, 2 0. As we can see, how confident the midfield player from Persib Bandung FC with the number 7 jersey attack. Oh, that was a drop, a no foul given by the referee. Sumare has to send the ball back to the keeper. A little bit of a panicky moment. But however, we see Sumare does have a second game. 53 minutes has gone. Diogo is cut off, literally cut off, not even getting some support, some service from any of his midfield player. Opening up with Adam Narazlin. But as Kunalan picks up the loose ball, man, and clears it out, still dangerous, maybe. Yeah, he took it really quickly there, Sumare. Although, one thing I like about Sumare is that he is the man for last minutes of his. We know he has scored crucial goal, the last uh, crucial goal up against Indonesia back in the uh, FIFA World Cup qualifiers. And we won the match 3-2 at that time. So I believe maybe he can do the magic here again. But then, <laughs> Beckham Putra is showing no mercy at all for this man so far. Yep, no mercy given, no quarters given. Adib Zainuddin, Aris Harun back to Adam Norazlin. Sends it forward to, oh, Nazmi Faiz was dropped. And I believe that's going to be a yellow card. Yep, a yellow card to the Indonesian player. Beckham Putra accidentally tackled Nazmi Faiz with a very, very harsh tackle. Yellow card to Persib Bandung FC. Eskunalan sends it back. Oh, Natsu Insa has been brought in another uh, Shafiq Ahmad. Oh, Shafiq Ahmad has been sent out. Thus, Shafawi Rashid. <laughs> Shafawi Rashid has been sent in. Into the fray. Can Shafawi and also Natsu Insa conjure a special plan to call upon experience to get the game to 2-2? Maybe, maybe not because Eskonalan has to put a stick out. His foot needs to go out to kill the momentum of the play. Yeah, and here is Natsu Itza trying to make the pass against so Safavi Rashid, getting the fresh touch of the ball. And here is Ahmad Haswan trying to find Diogo, but it's not going through. And uh, this time, if we give a little bit of a, a set piece for Safavi Rashid, maybe we might see the goal coming through again of it. Because we know <laughs> Safavi Rashid is a free kick expert. We've seen him scoring lots of goals in free kick. But here is Ahmad! That should be going in. That should be going in. For JDT and Mamadou Sumare. Oh, Azwan Bakri. Uh, a deadly striker back then in his younger days. Azwan Bakri was known for his clinical finishing. However, in this game, he forgot his scoring shoes. The ball does go up in flames high. 72 minutes has elapsed. We see JDT is in a bit of a quandrum right now for another shot. Straight to the goalkeeper. JDT. Pulls out a habit, a rabbit out of the hat. Uh, Shapawi Rashid. Uh, Shapawi Rashid seems to misplace his pass. However, Matt, we still have a second game on the deck. Yeah, and here is Diogo again trying to find some space. Trying to get the interception done and get the attacking ongoing there. But then we see the uh, attack is not going anywhere with the tight defense coming from Perse Bandung players. As they're closing down all the space, a one through coming through. And Mauricio could not get there, but then Askunalan is just right there. As we know, he is known for his speed. He's very, very fast, agile. And you know, and we always know that he likes to terrorize the wings every time when we see him on the screen of his. Yep, that's what he does best, uh, running on those uh, wide areas. But however, we see Askunalan in this game, a little bit quiet, a little bit silent. However, he is doing his defensive duties very, very well. Sends it central to Haris Harun. However, uh, oh, Nazmi Faiz Mansour was able to intercept the ball. Sends it central to the opponent, which is opening wide. Very, very big. A chance for Persik Bando. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's a little bit too wide. That should be going in there, Faiz. I'm not sure what was the decision making was all about. But in that space, you should be scoring that goal. You should be taking the shot. And we know Corbin Ong was a little at the back there. He was not even pressing him. He was not even anywhere close to him. And I'm not sure what was the decision to make the pass towards the other player who was basically marked down by Kunalan and another player in the middle there. And I guess that's a very bad decision from Back and Putra. But he comes again this time. Will we see much more better attacking 
this play from him. But then Mauricio is just right there. And I guess there is only one minute left on the clock, excluding the extra time, Decipher. Yep, so we see the introduction of Hazwan Bakri, Shapawi Rashid, Natsa Insa, uh, almost injected some... Uh... Oh, however, time does run out. It's going to be 2-0 for the first game uh, between Persib Bandung going up against JDT. This, this penalty, my goodness. I thought that um, the foul conceded was a little bit too weak. Uh, but hey, a penalty is a penalty, even though possession-wise, man, it's actually in favor of JDT, not Persib Bandung FC. Yeah, we can see that he, he has the possession, but then when it comes to counters, when it comes to uh, attacking, we see much more bright display by Beckham Putra. He's very decisive and he knows what he's doing in the final third. And that shows his decision-making has been there. Although, that last moment, he should have been scoring the third goal, but then the pass was... Going somewhere actually, which which way you basically need to take the shot, but I'm not sure what happened there. But maybe he will come again. And uh, I feel of this that is still time for Sumare to turn things around. Yes. So now we are getting word. Okay, the admin is telling me that the players are getting ready. So I want to ask you guys in the comment. Okay, and uh, this is especially for the uh so all right, so I believe that we are going for a quick break first, but we will be back very, very shortly. Stay tuned, guys, because I believe this is not finished yet.
What is going on everybody? Welcome back, welcome back. This is your big man Decipher together with my good friend Matthew Zizak as your official commentator for Champions E Football Tournament sanctioned by ASEAN Electronic Sports Federation. We just finished Matt game number one, JDT going up against Persib Bandung where Beckham Putra was able to score two goals against Mohamedou Sumar Ahmed. Yeah, it was a very interesting match of his and I feel Beckham Putra is on, on his top of his game and uh, we see time and time again uh, Mohamed Sumare uh, conceding the goal in a very early stage of each half and maybe needs to fix that in the next match. But hey, we have another match coming up. Yep, and also uh, among the uh, that I surprised that I did not see coming uh, even for Team uh, Persib Bandung FC, I did not even see Beckham Putra also in the game. Sumare wasn't in the game. <laughs> so hopefully, yep, there you go guys. Match number two, game number two. Mohamedou Sumare going up against a Beckham Putra where Persib Bandung is winning the first game 2-0, man. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's going to be all the way Persib Bandung or 
is going to be uh, Mamadou Soumare is going to turn things around in the next match. But Hafiz, I guess both hopes are still alive. And let's see who is going to get that win. Either we see someone turning the tables or it's a one-way ticket. Yep. So anytime the players are ready, we will be going into the game. And again, uh, we see uh, a formation by Persib Bandung. That is 5-2-1-2. A very attacking game, however, for Team JDT, maybe using a more a flexible, conventional 4-2-1-3, uh, possibly, possibly with Shapawi Rashid being played first. Uh, maybe we see uh, players like uh, Akiar Abdul Rashid will be going in. Uh, but however, Matt, I am still not seeing Mohamedou Sumare in that lineup. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, yes, we have everyone's lineup there except for Mohamedou Sumare. Although uh, playing for the same team, we did not see him there. And uh, let's see what's going to happen because 4-2-1-3 um, is a very, very balanced uh, formation consisting of attack and also a defense. But on the other side, we see much more an attacking line, which is 5-2-1-3. Yeah, people might think that, you know, playing a back five is going to be all defensive. No, you're wrong. Because playing back five does not mean you're playing fully defensive. It can go super offensive once the wing backs are on top. Yep, and also among the names, uh, we can see Shabek Kuti Abba, uh, Ahmad Azwan Bakri, we see Akira Abdul Rashid uh, is on the bench for Team JDT. Uh, for Mohamedou Sumare, Nasser Insa is being put in as the midfielder. The first 11 for Team JDT. Guys, 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 for you guys in the comment, how are you? I hope you all are happy, happy, very, very in good mood. Uh, very, very happy, happy to watch the game, the tournament for Champions E Football. The match between Persib Bandung FC going up against JDT. And I hope you all are very very happy happy always okay have fun matt this is maybe a comeback for jdt yeah this could be the last hope for momadu sumare to turn things around or else back and putra of perse bandung is going to show some level of football as we are underway for the uh, second match of the set as we see the first match is being won by the tigers of bandung let's see if southern tigers are able to wake up from their sleep Yep, so I believe, uh, I think this is at Stadium uh, Sultan Ibrahim, the home of JDT, uh, playing home this time around. Uh, so Corbin On will be initiating the attack by a throw into Fadli Shas. However, Maurizio push and pull with the number nine from Team uh, Persip Bandung. However, Shapawi Rashid gets a touch, going for Diogo, a chance for JDT. However, it was well cleared outside of that penalty area man yeah he tried there and this time we see Beckham Putra as we see he's trying to utilize an attack over here and maybe right now and maybe another one might have come through if the header connects but then we see much more uh, defensive display shown by Mamadou Sumare although we see the warning signs are being shown by Beckham Putra and right now the ball is back again with the likes of Perse Bandung and here they come again Makes the pass towards the midfielder. Will we see something special? Uh, another pass inside the flanks. And this is going to be a big, big chance. And he hits the crossbar. And that is not what I was expecting from Perse Bandung. But then, Afis, the attack is still on. Will we see another goal coming through for Bakan Putra? Inside the box again. This is pretty, pretty dangerous over here. Another chance. And he hits the crossbar again. Ooh. Oh, that is the third warning for Mamadou Sumare of JDT. Well, if you look at this uh, this shot, Matt, technically, Sumare has already conceded the fact that that could have been a goal. However, it was the upright, it was the post that denied Beckham Putra from getting the goal that he so wanted. I'm not sure what Afik Faisal was doing just now. He's not supposed <laughs> to duck. He's supposed to clear the ball. However, give me advantage for Beckham Putra. Try to go into the penalty area. Maybe this time around, a beautiful back pass. However, it was a little bit too close to the opponent. And we change possession. Like how we play ping pong. Like how we play fast ball. It's just changing and changing. Oh, a mistake! Woohoo! Almost again and again, JDT defense is in shambles right now, man. 
Yeah, this is the fourth warning coming from Persik Bandung. Beckham Putra just showing some level of uh, intense attacking range that we have been seeing so far in this match. Although it's a very early stage of the match, only 20 minutes have passed. And we see almost four to five goal scoring opportunities coming from Perse Bando. And here they come again with the likes of Beckham Putra on the left. It's dashing forward towards the left, tries to make the pass inside. But the net's not going to go through anyway. And yet this time we see the ball is with the likes of JDT players. As we see Gonzalo Cabrera, the uh, JDT all-time top scorer, who basically went past Shafiq Rahim's uh, record tally of 56 goals back then of his. Yep, back then when goals were go uh, scoring for, for fun. However, that all doesn't count. It all counts tonight. Tonight is the time where you need to start finishing. Tonight is the night where you need to start scoring. But that time it hits the, the outfield player, Nazmi Faiz Mansour. Considered a foul. And we change hands currently with a Beckham Putra. Yeah, and this time we see Beckham Putra trying to make something special from here. Here he comes again. Still Beckham Putra. Will we see something unique pass trying to break down the defense we see how dominant Beckham Putra has been inside his game and that's another chance but then Mauricio is just right there to get the ball off but I see Beckham Putra and Perse Bandung are just so so alive inside JDT's box so far face yes Afik Nasrul Haq just now almost made a mistake without looking behind there was an opponent behind waiting to intercept but lucky uh, Sumare was able to clear the ball upfield as quickly as possible. Not so Insa with a long drive. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe Nazmi Faiz. Nazmi Faiz has a chance. But that chance just went out the window. Yeah, I, I feel like this is much more defensive display by uh, Mohamed Sumare because we saw in the first match he's been conceding goals in the start of the match. But this time, I guess the gates have been closed pretty tight. And let's see if he's able to hold on to it. Because Beckham Putra is just nearly right there to get that first goal in. Safavi Rashid. And this time back to Mauricio again. A change of uh, wings there towards Corbin Ong. And this time we see Gonzalo Cabrera. What I like about Asian players is that of his, the versa, they are very, very versatile in terms of playing in any sorts of uh, position. We have seen times and times again, most of the players on the pitch on in this match have played various positions in terms of attacking this play and also defensive as well. Yep, uh, I would concede to that notion also. Uh, but however, Matt, it's 42 minutes has gone and Samare needs to get a goal, needs to get a win. Afik, oh, chance for Diogo! It hits the upright! Now it's Shapawi! Shapawi's shot was deflected, pushed away by the keeper. Now Sumare finally found his mojo. Now Sumare finally finds his beat. His, uh, how do I call this? Uh, his mojo back. Because the first shot hits the upright. And the second by Shapawi Rashid was uh, parried away by the keeper. Now floats at its central. Maybe for Shapawi. Shapawi is not the best man for you to hit the ball. However, it's still with Mohamed Sumare. But Gonzalo Cabrera. But not chase the ball and it's got to be still 0-0 in this game. Yep, it's still very tight in this match. Although we see Mohamed Sumare has that one chance to score. But then, but then of his, I feel Beckham Putra was much alive in this match in terms of his attacking style and the number of tries that actually hit the post and also uh, hit the uh, last man defender of that. Yep, good effort. However, it is not enough. The ball must go to the back of the net. A victory must be secured by Mohamed Sumare from JDT to drag this game into the third match. As we see JDT attacking in numbers, attacking in conviction. However, considered to a free kick, a very, very dangerous position for a free kick. I believe Shafawi Rashid will be taking this. Ah, oh, a drop, a tackle, straight to goal. Come on. What can Shapawi Rashid do? Shapawi Rashid with his beautiful left foot, maybe to the top left corner, possibly this time around, to get the ball to the back of the net. One goal, only one goal needed. Maybe have to, and he flies it. No, 
He goes back to Corbin Ong. That was a big of a surprise. Maybe he should have tried from far. It's going to be Diogo parried. Well played by the Malaysia International. Yeah, he had his idea there, face, but then that's normally what we uh, do not see from Safavi Rashid. He likes to curve the ball inside the box uh, or towards the goal there. But man, this time we see something very different from uh, Momadou Sumare, although he had the uh, goal scoring opportunity there. But then it was well defended again by Beckham Putra. And let's see what is going to happen in this match as we are still underway. It's still nil nil. Nothing has changed, but the only thing that changes from them is basically Perse Bandung are actually in a win. But this could be it. Oh, that is oh. going to be a penalty. That is going to be a penalty. That is a clear chance, although the tackle was not rough. But that actually denied him from making a shot and pushed him away. And I guess no negotiation, says the referee. And has his spots for the uh, penalty there. And I guess there you go, all the JDT players, including Momadu Sumaris, not happy about that decision. But it is what it is. This could be it for Bakan Putra to get Perse Bandung up and running again. And I feel if it is going to be Perse Bandung. And the Tigers of Bandung are basically getting the first goal knotted again. And that shows Bakan Putra is back alive in this match. Uh, two times, Matt. Two times in this game, Fadli Momashas has accidentally conceded, gave away two penalty. The first penalty was in the first game, and this time around, Fadli Momashas gave another penalty away. Oh, it's a situation critical. However, there is still time maybe to equalize Diogo. Maybe to Afik. Shapawi Rashid tries to play it wide. However, this time around did not go through. Can we see uh, Guilhelmi Di Paula? But this time around, the ball does go out. It's going to be a corner kick. Uh, it just went straight to the side netting surface. But it's okay. Because sometimes we do not get to see how the ball lands. Because the camera is pretty far. Even if you are basically commentating in the actual football scene. That is a pretty, pretty tight angle to watch. But never mind. I guess it's still 1-0 going in a favor for Beckham Putra so far. And here is Gonzalo Cabrera towards Diogo. Still Diogo. That's a late tackle coming through. Safavi Rashid there. And this could be a big, big chance. But then there's nothing happening so far for Momadou Sumare. As we see, Beckham Putra is on the attack this time. Will we see Beckham Putra trying to get the second goal in? Or else it's going to go for Momadou Sumare. who's basically trying to get the equalizer so far. Beckham Putra again. Brilliant pass, but not brilliant enough in the final third. Well, I mean, it was a bit surprise. Oh, that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a foul. It was a professional foul on Shapawi Rashid, but the referee decides not to award a card. This referee is very very lenient. The tackle from behind. Oh, that was a scissor tackle. It deserved a card, but referee said no. Nope, it was everything's okay. Uh, a long drive, maybe for Diogo. Diogo could not get a touch properly. 65 minutes has left. Oh, that's going to be another tackle, Ref. When did the referee go? It seems like tackle <laughs> after tackle. The referee does not want to get foul. This referee must be in Team Buck 2, I think, Matt. Uh, even Beckham Putra is surprised as we see his reactions on the uh, uh, bottom left there. He was already like, oh no, that's a fall. But this is another chance. But parried away by the goalkeeper, back in Putra, although we can see him calling for lots of actions that's happening on the pitch. But man, he is enjoying the game so far. And on the other side, there's another warning coming from the referee. Again, he says, no negotiations. I do not want to hear much. Maybe the next tackle, I'm going to take out the card. And I believe that's Corbin Ong. As we see, another tackle comes through. That's a rough one, if you ask me, Afis. Yep, it's a pretty, pretty rough one. Uh, but however, uh, how do I say the truth is in the pudding? Because right now, we see uh, Percy Bandung is attacking in numbers, attacking with function, with purpose, trying to break down the defense of JDT. Maybe uh, JDT needs to change a few players. Maybe need to add some fresh legs. Maybe need to be more careful in defending, not conceding any more penalties. Uh, Arif Nasrul Haq, that is not so insa. Not so insa grabs the ball, sends it forward to Gonzalo Cabrera. 
However, the tackle was inch perfect. Lays it off forward. Maurizio needs to clear the ball only to the opponent. Maybe one more. Another one. But well saved by the keeper from JDT. Oh, I love the reaction from the goalkeeper of his. That was a deadly shot. But then he got it again. But this time, Perse Bandong. That should be going in. But man, it was a little wide there. As we see how deadly Beckham Putra has been in this match. Yes, he does not have the possession, but he is very, very decisive when it comes to opportunities in front of goals. And we are just less than, I uh, can say, 12 minutes. Yeah, from now we can say 11 minutes. As we are underway, it's still 1-0 going in a favor for uh, Perse Bandung. The Tigers of Bandung are basically much alive in this match. And this could be another chance! And that is Beckham Putra for his team again. Perse Bandung are so, so deadly in front. And that shows the scoreline so far. 2-0. And I believe it's going to be a little mission impossible for Mohamed Sumare of JDT. Oh, that true ball was absolutely inch perfect. It was absolutely like hot knife through butter. And 2-0 going in favor of Persib Bandung FC from Indonesia. Beckham Putra might be celebrating. Maybe, possibly, however, could there be another goal? Is there one more goal to the tally to add more salt to the wound, which is now being felt by Muhammad Sumar? However, Sumare still hungry. Oh, another tackle! Ref! Yeah. Uh, yeah, this time. <laughs> yeah, this time. This time, the referee showed the cards their face. <laughs> this time, the referee was looking at the field. Uh, a very, very hard tackle on Diogo. A sliding tackle. Not a scissor tackle, but still a tackle. And we can see from the replay how Diogo was screaming in pain. <laughs> screaming in pain just now. But the situation is a sinking submarine in my point of view however Matt look at this look at this how Beckham one more goal for Beckham one more chance for a penalty could not go through Matt yeah he tried that he had the idea he had the space but then we see Mohamed Sumare closed down the entire defensive uh, space there and this time we see uh, Beckham Putra comes again that's a very quick pass it's not going to land in the right legs and this time we see uh, Ahmad Haswan loses there. And this time it is another big chance for Perse Bandung. Could this be it for Beckham Putra? That was another shot parried away by the goalkeeper. Oh, yeah, he he's enjoying this game of his. Oh, he is enjoying, but that was a beautiful move. The referee did not counter the foul on a, a JDT player upfield in midfield just now, uh, giving way for Beckham to actually go and attack. Not so Insa with a long drive to infinity, and I believe the game will be go beyond looking at the situation, looking at the score. I believe Beckham Putra will go into the next round, will go in advance to the next round. However, can JDT get one goal? No, 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 no. Congratulations, Matt, to Beckham Putra representing Perseb Bandung FC. They are going into the next round yeah it's a well-deserved win for Beckham Putra yes we saw time and time again he was very deadly in front of goals and it's a well-deserved win in my eye and uh, for Mohamed Sumare maybe things were not right for him in the first match as we see him conceding goals time and time again especially in the uh, very early minutes of each half but this time even in the second match his defensive display was pretty decent but we see the best decision making comes from the Indonesian player, which is Beckham Putra. Yes, Beckham Putra. But guys, guys, the match is not over. This is two match out of five games that will be played. Uh, that will be played tonight. So the first star match, uh, this is the best of three knockout stages. Uh, congratulations to Persib Bandung FC. Uh, through his player Beckham Putra uh, has taken Persib Bandung into the next round. However, Mohamed Sumare, well, GG, well played, bro. I mean, tough of luck, but that is the end of Joho Darul Taksim FC 
in the star match. But, Matt, they still have the elite match, which is coming up very, very soon. Yeah, the elite matches are going to come through real, real quick. But I guess this is the end for the star match of his. But the, it was a one entertaining football that we have commentated so far. And uh, I think this is the first time uh, we have seen how uh, players trying to uh, adapt to virtual football. And uh, it, it worked pretty well for back in Putra. But then although we see there's a little bit of a chance for Mohamedou Sumari, especially we saw that one chance where he screamed it off. But then um, we can say that Beckham Putra was the better man, the better player in two of these matches. Yeah. So for our friends, uh, especially from uh, JDT and also Persib Bandung, hey, guys, don't go anywhere because your team, Persib Bandung and also JDT, will play again tonight. Ah, because if I'm not mistaken, uh, we are going for the elite match. Because after this, after we go for a break, JDT will play Buriram United FC. After the break, is Malaysia going up against Thailand? JDT FC going up against Buriram United? No Haikal going up against Lee Ha Antoine? Ah, uh, Matt. Uh, that's going to be another interesting game. Yes, I'm really looking forward to see the players this time because we can see much more better quality of football and um, it's going to be super, super interesting to see who's going to get those three crucial points, especially for their teams. Yep, so don't go anywhere. Uh, for JDT fans and also Persib Bandung, your team will be playing up shortly, especially JDT because after the break, JDT will go up against Buriram United. Stay tuned, me and Matt. We'll take a quick break. Bye-bye.